How are you guys today? I'm going to be removing my makeup in a minute. Hi, yeah. <clears throat> Don't go away. Yep, I was going to work out, but I was cleaning. Sometimes renters are disgusting people. I don't think that person ever, uh, I ever um, mopped the floor. It took me forever. I had to use my CBD because my back was hurting and stuff, so I couldn't work out today. I wanted to, but didn't want to push it or my neck or anything like that. See my nails? Aren't they cute? <clears throat> Summery colors. Because the end of summer is coming. Do I think up in here, these, um, around the mountains, we skip summer, I mean spring altogether. Snow, then hot, then getting chill. But it's good, because when you go to the desert, oh lordy. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so, what else? So as I use my CBD, which helps all the cabinoids because it's made out of flour, the whole flour, and um, they, uh, so it's fluid and you're able to partake where you don't have to worry about having THC in your system, but it will take the pain away for you. <clears throat> so I used four drops and took my spine pain away, my um, carpal tunnel symptoms away because I didn't expect to have to spend eight hours t so far I haven't finished the blinds cleaning my rental with the EV that's how thrashed it wasn't like thrash but they were just dirty I don't think she ever picked up a mop in her life maybe they spilled something it was gross it took forever No, actually, <laughs> they're cute nails. Um, so yeah, so that's what I spent. I was supposed to do other things today, but and you know it's funny how your kids. I don't mind helping my daughters. Um, I told them I'm not helping you move, and what do I do? Mom, ma'am. So I ended up helping them. But if my son and his wife ever needed help. Like he told me I'm not a priority. Well, he's 20 feet under the totem pole. I would re-help my daughters over and over and over. I would help my friends before I had helped that backstabbing person again. Because he's backstabbing because he let his wife speak for him. All I ask is, hey, what excuse are you going to give not to go to your nephew's birthday the whole point of you moving out here was to hang out with the family, right? Because he was in New York. Hmm? No. No, 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 no. They just used me because she needed sanctuary, if you know what I mean. And I didn't know what the hell they're talking about. Ice. What the fuck is ice? Um, I'm going to start raiding New York, I guess, or whatever. I figured it out. Immigration. Like... So why I don't like her and she will never get help from me, even if I forgive her, I will never help that backstabbing, fork tongue, lying mom. She calls me M-U-M, mom. She's only 10 years younger than I am. Um, it's because she's trying to get parental advice because my son is a whiny little itch and i'm insulting and itch when i call him that lazy as can be wouldn't work all this i'm sorry you're gonna be 39 years old i'm not doing i i lent him money that i really didn't have but then the condition he paid me back so i could buy my girl's birthday presents well that person did not pay it so that's his inheritance he got me in October, and I would have respected that in October if he would say, hey, we need to get out of here because it's Christine, da 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 And because um, they're going to have raids over in New York. But uh, to come check it out and think he was going to just uh, mooch off of me, I'm sorry, I don't owe you. I'm like, I'm supposed to apologize. So 
going back to her, oh, I gotta put my uh, bubbles back, better make some more. Um, for her to get paranoid rise when she never had kids was laughable. But when I got to the end, trying to say, see, my son back then, welfare didn't help uh, nor Americans or North American, whatever you want to call it. They didn't have babysitting help or anything. So I paid my neighbor to keep an eye. If he needed something, he can go over there or whatever. But he was a latchkey kid. That's what happened in the 80s and early 90s. Then they got the programs and realized, hey, if we offer childcare, maybe these women will get off of uh, welfare. And if they paid for college, the women would have better jobs, but they don't do that. So anywho, long story short, um, he was whining about uh, the way he was raised and he had to raise his sisters. Uh, my daughter was babysit, and my other, my younger ones, when he was grown, he just locked himself in his room. I actually took him to preschool and paid for the, them to go to preschool and stuff. So that's why I think they're more intelligent than he is. So I asked him what, what excuse he was going to give for not going to his uh, nephew's birthdays because um, my grand, youngest grandson is going to be eight and Jennifer's son is going to be 16. Wifey Poo must not like that, so she made uh, she responded and uh, on a public media, and I was kind of laughing, you know, until she got that I was fake grieving for my daughter and my grandson. I had to tell my grandson about it just in case, but um, you know, she has no feelings for her own, for his nephew. Because that, that's his mom they're talking about. And I never, I carry that child. I saw that child graduate high school. Um, about to be a valedictorian in college. That kid, all my girls are go-getters except for the bum. And so, anywho, I am doing CBD. Which, the cannadoids, we have cannadoids all over. And we have her... Um, I should read it, but anyway, I'm not going to make a long video. There. Now I'm covered. See? <laughs> Anywho. I want you guys to have a successful, blessed week. And that you guys um, always tell your loved ones. And don't backstab your parents. Because you know what? You only have one set of parents. You'll have several siblings and one set of grandparents. Well, not really. But blood. Uh, I found out blood don't mean shit to that boy. He'll call everybody else and go out of his way to help them. But not for his mother. So he can whistle when my CBD takes off, the EV will take off again, all that, oh hell, go and whistle, I'm sorry, I didn't hear it, I'm tone deaf, I wouldn't help that backstabber ever again, so, but you know what, I will forgive him for being stupid, he can't help if he's a moronic idiot, but she knows what she was saying and doing because she's a snipe. She can't work. And uh, just because she was a nanny does not mean make her a parent. She's talk bad about her clients anyway. I wouldn't hire her for shit. Back seven, so he's like, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just fresh in my mind because she just recently did it. And it was the anniversary of my daughter's. Uh, memory party, which they didn't bother to go, but he mourns his sister. He mourns her. Yeah, my ass. He don't mourn her. They're the fake people. They'll bother coming in family parties or her sister's birthdays and stuff. Uh, yeah, there's, his sister's birthdays are this um, upcoming weeks in August. So, yeah. Back, Sam, and Sleeze back. We'll see if he wishes them a happy birthday. You guys have a blessed day. Bye. Successful week, too.